another one. Shout out to the homie Goose for giving me these bison burgers. That's going to be the new video. So these are preformed patties, but what I want to do is make smash burgers out of them. Peel off the little diaper. I'm going to ball them up into a little ball and you'll see what happens next. So first things first, I'm going to take my buns here and I'm going to toast them up with a little bit of butter just to get that out of the way. And it's worth mentioning that I have been drinking. Once you get your buns nice and toasted, you'll be able to move on to the next part, forming these into little balls and then taking your spatula and smashing them down. And I'll show you how to do that once I get to that. But in the meantime, enjoy these sick spatula tricks. All right, now that we got the buns nice and toasted, we're gonna get to work on seasoning our bison here, which I've never really worked with before, but I'd imagine it works pretty much the same as beef. So we're gonna do a lot of salt, we're gonna do a lot of pepper, and I'll get back to you. For this particular application, we're gonna be using our cast iron skillet here. Gonna get that on. We're gonna get it on, it's on, it's on, it's on. Uh, I know it's not as seasoned as it should be, it's a little bit of, of rust here, but um, I guess seasoning cast iron will be another video. All right, as you can see, we have our little bison burger balls all seasoned up. Our cast iron is nice and hot. And what you want to do next is you want to take the ball, you want to put it into the cast iron, you want to take your spatula and something to press down into the spatula, like uh, we're going to be using our pepper mill here, to make a flat patty. Uh, the name of the game here is to form as much fond and crust as we can possibly can as we can possibly can. That makes sense. Uh, unfortunately, I cannot um, show you the process that I use to smash these burgers down because uh, I need one hand to get the video going. But, you know, whatever. You'll see the result shortly. What I want to do is season with a little bit of uh, roasted granulated garlic and a little bit of lemon juice. Bison in and of itself is a pretty lean meat. So if you can use an additional fat, that will be great. But I don't have any of that, so we're gonna go with what I got. Additionally, we're looking for the edges to be nice and brown before we flip this motherfucker. Also, it's important to note that with cast iron, uh, you can't really flip the meat until the meat is ready. And once the meat unsticks from the cast iron, uh, we should be able to flip this pretty easily. All right, the burger's flipped. We're going to add a little bit of white cheddar cheese. We're going to put it right on top there. And if you want that to melt more efficiently, we can take a lid here and cover it. But I ain't going to do it. I lied. I'm going to do it. In retrospect, the uh, bison balls might have been slightly too big. But you can kind of see where it's kind of browning here. That's what you're looking for. Uh, once you can get that all the way around, you can go ahead and flip and then add the cheese. That's kind of what you're looking for, the uh, the fawn to form up. You're going to go ahead and lay your cheese down. If you want your cheese to melt ahead of time, go ahead and put a lid right over that. I'm going to go real simple with the toppings. I got a little bit of beef steak tomato sliced up and prepped, and a little bit of butter lettuce. And uh, all together, it should make a damn fine burger. I lied. I had some red onions left over, so I figured I might as well use those too. I got my burgers. They're nice and done. And I'll go ahead and craft up a uh, burger. Cheeseburger? Whatever. Top with only ketchup and mustard, or whatever else you want. You know, I'm not gonna judge you, but I'm a little simple. Ketchup and mustard's all I need. Last step, enjoy.